In this lesson, we're going to have a look at stem and leaf diagrams. So if you could put that heading down first of all, please. Stem and leaf diagrams. Stem and leaf diagrams are used when you want to display data in a very clear way. It's just a different way of writing the data down so you can see exactly what's going on at a very quick glance. If we have a look at some data here, it's a set of numbers. Now we don't know what the data is, but actually here we'll say they're marks somebody's got in a test, not somebody, now they're a group of people. A um, group of 15 people, there are 15 values there. If I wanted to work out anything about them, the average, the mean, the median, see very quickly the highest and the lowest mark, it's easier to do that if those numbers are written down differently. And if I just move this bit of paper down and you can see what we've got here on the right, this is an example of a stem and leaf diagram. All the numbers that were in the table at the top appear in here, but it's easier to see what's going on. This 7 here, because it's to the right of the 1, which is in the stem, means 17. That's a mark of 17. There's a mark of 18. And then here's another mark of 18. So all you're really doing is putting the stem digit in front of the leaf digit. So for example, this one here is representing a mark of 41. This five here is a mark of 35. And if you put it together in a stem and leaf diagram like this, it's very clear to see the lowest number, the lowest mark was 17. And the highest mark was 42. Now it's even easier to see what's going on if you change it from that stem and leaf diagram into an ordered stem and leaf diagram, which is what we've got down here. Now if you look at it, you may think, hang on, there's not much difference there. The only difference is this row here, which wasn't written down in order from smallest to biggest, the smallest one was over here, now has been written down in order from smallest to biggest. So what you've got now is an ordered stem and leaf diagram where everything is ordered from the smallest to the biggest. And it does make some things much easier. For example, if I wanted to find the median, remember the median is a value in the middle, I can just go smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest, and keep going like this. Smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest. That's the middle. The median mark was 25. So that's what a stem and leaf diagram is, in an ordered stem and leaf diagram. So what I want to do is go through an example with you. First of all, can you copy down for me these values? So underneath your heading, stem and leaf diagrams, okay, we'll do it and we'll start off with some test results. We're not going to have very many. It's going to be a fairly simple example. So can we have these test results written down? And we'll have 25, 32, 28, 35, 37, 41, 32, 27, 28, and 33. We'll have 10 marks written down there. And if we're going to do these as a stem and leaf diagram, you always need to have a heading, stem, and leaf. And the stem column can usually be fairly narrow. The leaf column, well, that will have a list of numbers in it. Now, if we look at our numbers, all of our numbers here are either in the 20s, 30s, or 40s. So I have a 2, a 3, and a 4 there, representing 20s, 30s, and 40s. If you could copy this down, the teacher may want to pause the video at various points. What I'm going to do now is put my leaves on. So I've got 25. It's 2 and 5. I'm going to cross that one through to show that it's on there. 32 is 3 and a 2. Now, it's very important when you do these by hand, not on a computer, that you line these numbers up. They must be lined up. So when you get sort of over here, and if you have one number below another number, you know you've got the same number of numbers up to that point. It'll become clear as I go through. 28 is 2 and 8. 35 is 3 and 5. 37, 3 and 7. 41, 4 and 1. 32... 3 and 2, 27, 2 and 7, 28, 2 and 8, 33, 3 and 3. 
So that is my completed, well nearly completed, stem and leaf diagram. But every stem and leaf diagram does also need a key. You always need to write down a key. And if you choose any number from up here, you might as well just choose the first. The first number is 2, then that vertical line and 5. And that means, in this example, 25. You always need this key written down as well. Because sometimes a 2 and a 5 there may not mean 25. It may mean 2.5 or it may mean 2,500. You always need a key. So can you copy down, please, this stem and leaf diagram and just label that stem and leaf diagram. And in a minute, we're going to change it to an ordered stem and leaf diagram. So if you could copy that one down, then we'll move on. OK, so moving on, we've got our stem and leaf diagram. We're going to change that now to be an ordered stem and leaf diagram. So can you just put down heading here? We're now going to do an ordered stem and leaf diagram. So we can put that heading down, an ordered stem and leaf diagram. We need to draw out the same stem and leaf bit as we did before. And just like last time, our stem is going to be 2s, 3s and 4s for 20s, 30s and 40s. 40 down there as well. But now we're just going to rewrite these numbers for each row in order. So this row I will write down 5, 7, 8, 8. This row I will write down 2, 2, 3, 5, 7. 2, 2, 3, 5, 7. Make sure you line everything up in the correct column. And there's just a 41. Once you've done the ordered stem and leaf, that's when you can go in from each end to find the medians. Up here, if I was trying to cross off the smallest and the biggest, I would have gone smallest, biggest, then, oh, hang on, that's not the smallest. I would have to search through. That's why you usually do these ordered stem and leafs. So before we go any further, though, we need a key. So we're going to put a key down and again, 2, line 5 means 25. But from here, we can easily find the median. And we can find the median by going in from both ends, crossing values off. Before we do that, can you make sure you've got that complete one drawn down? You may need to pause the video here. And now that's drawn down, we're going to find the median. So we just cross off the smallest and the biggest, which is 25 and 41. And then we cross off again from what we've got left, the smallest and the biggest. The smallest, 27. The biggest, 37. Smallest and biggest. Smallest and biggest. Now we've got two left in the middle. So that's standing for 32 and 33. And the median can't be two values. It can't be 32 and 33. When you have two values, you write down what's bang in the middle of the two of them. So that would be 32.5 or 32 and a half. That would be the median. So that's basically how you do a standard stem and leaf diagram.